<laughs> 11 and 0, baby. How sweet it is. It ain't too goddamn sweet because we went out there and played like absolute trash. We won the game. It don't matter as long as you win the game. But we can't play this way if we want to hoist up Lombardi number 7 on the stairway to 7. We ain't going to win no damn Lombardis the way we play. We play like all garbage. You didn't think we were an undefeated team watching the way we played. First and foremost, the officiating was absolute garbage the entire time. We didn't pick up a first down at the end of the game, all right? That was clearly short, all right? That was shorter than a damn micropenis. They gave us a gift because they wanted to get the hell up out of there. Whatever the case may be, the referees need to get it together. Across the league, they've been absolute garbage. And I'd hate to make it to the postseason and have a game down the wire end up getting cost and over because of the goddamn terrible officiating. But enough of that. When we talk about our team, all right, offensively, we play like absolute garbage. Six drops, seven drops, eight drops, nine drops, it doesn't matter. There were so many goddamn drops out there, it's ridiculous. You'd have thought it was New Year's Eve, they were dropping balls. What are we doing? Get it together. Big Ben was inaccurate, throwing gifts. Evidently, it's been one week since Thanksgiving. The food since went rotten, but the pastries stayed around because Ben was cooking up apple turnovers. What the hell was that red zone interception? We cannot play like this if we want to make it to the Super Bowl, let alone clinch a first round bye. Kansas City's on our heels with one, with one goddamn loss. We're not going nowhere like this. We got to play better football. On the ground, Benny Snell, 60 yards, and you also baptized Marcus Peters. No problem with that. We had a few injuries here and there. All right, Bud Dupree, I hope it's nothing serious. Okay, in the wide receiver room, people need to reevaluate what position they want to play because hands are just for decoration. I understand it's December. I understand people want to get ahead of themselves and put up Christmas trees, but there's no reason why the ornaments should be cutouts of your hands. We need to catch the football better. On defense, three sacks, that's it. I understand it's RG3. He's going to take off and run by design. I understand Trace McSorley comes into the game, but three sacks? We're going to lose our league lead if we don't put QBs on their ass. We got to play better. Now, granted, we did force a few turnovers, but Mika Fitzpatrick, your hands just for decoration. You should have had another pick six in your pocket. We giving up 70-yard touchdowns to Hollywood Brown. They playing Eminem. Say goodbye, say goodbye to Hollywood. We shouldn't be listening to anybody's music when we're playing football. We still at the top of the league when it comes to giving up the large plays, big plays, big yardage plays. Why is that? We're leading the league in damn near 20 plus categories on the defensive side of football, but we're still giving up big ass plays. Boswell missing extra points. All three facets of the game, we fumbling on punts. Ray Ray McLeod, I'm looking at you. This ain't it. Yes, we're playing against the Washington shirts, no skins next week. But the bottom line is this. They've had a gang of rest. They ain't played since Thanksgiving. And if we go out there as sloppy as we did today on a short, short week's notice of rest, we're going to get our ass kicked on national television, losing to the Washington shirts, no skins, a team with no goddamn name. We got to play better. Now, still, we did end up clinching, or I should say, we, we, we solidified, you know, the Baltimore Ravens as our little brother. We made sure everybody understand that we big dog over here, and we introduced them to a little bit of the dustpan. We introduced them to the broom, because we sweep around your own front door before you try to sweep around mine. Because they made sure that they got swept in the season series, but that ain't mean and shit if we don't get the job done. We got to play exceptional football, and this ain't it. We 11-0, but we don't feel like we 11-0. Baltimore ain't do nothing to hinder us from playing our style of football. We didn't get our heads out of our own ass. We didn't get out of our own way. And if we continue to play like this, we will take an L. Now, this is a divisional game. There's no such thing as playing down to the competition. But if we want to be where we truly want to be, we've got to play better. Bottom line, ain't nobody in the locker room should be smiling. Ain't no fan should be smiling. Nobody should be going to work with a little bit of a kick or a little bit of a bounce in their step. Nothing. Because that was a piss poor performance. And I'm happy that Big Ben at the end of the game in his interview said, man, we got to play better. Because the bottom line is we do need to play better. Get the job done next week against Washington. Get your head out of your ass. We could be a little bit sloppy because we're sitting on our ass waiting to figure out when the game's going to go live. But the bottom line is this. We ain't can't, we not going nowhere if we're playing football like this. We will not beat the Kansas City Chiefs. We won't even get past the second god, goddamn round. Play better. 
Steelers on three, win on six. One, two, three, Steelers. Four, five, six, win. Get the job done next week against Washington. God damn it.